What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? Not so fast. The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? Oh, calm down. What? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. Oh, she's just jealous because you've been taking her on all those missions. Probably. <laughs> don't let it happen again. Really, seriously, don't freak out. We're done here. Crew, dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Oh, this will be fun. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, do not cut me off like last time. I failed to find it amusing. Don't lecture me. Save the sermon. I'm just here to follow up on my report. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Navaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? They won't. This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. My children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Oh, you only had one Doctor chance to hang up on Commander, we need to talk. The three of us. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this I know what this is about. Situation. I'm not trying to make anyone uncomfortable. I'm just trying to figure out where I stand. Uh, I kind of knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I should have seen this coming. I am afraid it was inevitable. I may not know much about human relationships, but I understand the concept of jealousy. I'm not jealous. I'm confused. I, mean, I thought we had something, ma'am. I, I didn't realize that you were a... Well, that you prefer other women. You would call me a lesbian lover. Face. My species only has one gender. Yeah, but you look. All right, Shepard, make a choice. If you're not serious about me, it'll hurt, but I'll get over it. But until you tell me, I can't get over it. It's not like that. But you're special to me, Caden. Can, there's an option. The can I just have both? Is she special too? <laughs> yeah. Um. This is exactly what I was trying to avoid. I never should have told you my feelings, Shepard. I have put you in a terrible position. I am sorry. No, oh, don't be. Can I have you both? You were That's right to tell me, Liara. I feel the same way. Stop. You can't keep dancing around this, Shepard. Make a choice. Her or me. <laughs> if you if you actually say, can't I have you both, it pisses off both of them. <laughs> oh, like, hard. <laughs> uh, I, I can't do with Liara at all. Um, she's... I'm not sure she's into me for the right reasons. I really like her. She's a great... She's a great lady, but... Look, I never meant for you to get hurt. But... Caden's the one I really care about. I understand, Commander. Perhaps it is for the best. He is one of your own kind. I am sure you and Caden will be very happy. I should go. I need to... Check on something. Oh! Exactly. I need to count exactly how many pieces my heart just broke into. I can't help but feel a little sorry for. You don't blame me? I'm surprised. You sounded so angry at me a minute ago. My heart's a complex thing, Shepard. Yeah, I could blame you for indecision, but you think I've never been pulled in two directions? Look, I'm not really comfortable discussing this here in the comm room. You know where to find me when you're ready to talk. That was pretty. That was not bad. Mm hmm. But yeah, if, if you go, can I have both of you, they get pissed. They get really pissed. I didn't want to go through with it, especially because I hadn't saved. Um, all right, let's talk to the crew, and then we'll wrap up for now. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, head down and see what's up with everybody. Our next stop, I'm pretty sure, hang on. Let me. There's the Twilight Zone. Let me double check my... Uh... Our next stop is actually uh, that Cerberus mission. Okay. Uh, we'll do that between here and uh, Pharos. Uh, sorry, um, not Pharos. We'll do that between here and I think everything else is. Yeah, we'll we'll do the UNC Cerberus mission between here and Vermeer, and then once we go to Vermeer, that is it, and we will be heading into Endgame. Endgame. Surprising. Does that mean Princess Sally is going to die? Princess what? Princess Sally. It's a Sonic the Hedgehog comic book reference. Oh, right. 
I need to immediately check on Liara. I feel bad. Commander Shepard, I hope you are not here to check up on me. <laughs> uh, <sighs> yeah, I am. I wanted to make sure you were doing okay. I feel a bit embarrassed about what happened earlier. You reached out to me as a friend, and I thought it was something more. The mistake was mine. It's okay. Bioware's branching like conversation path options aren't always very clear. Us? I won't mention it again. I would appreciate that. Is there something else you wanted to ask me? Yeah, do you still love me? Because we could still be seeing each other on the side. Uh, I actually came to check on her because we just killed her mom. Yeah. <laughs> so, double whammy. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Sarah? Benezia, Everyone you ever you loved in your life, Shepard. or thought loved you I in your life, her. are dead. I grieve or don't care about you. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. Then let us talk about you. Are you okay? I've got nightmares. I'm not sleeping well. The visions keep me up at night. I wish there was something I could do to help you. You need to be at your best, Commander. The crew relies on you for leadership. It can be a heavy burden. I can handle the responsibility of command. But if I don't stop Saren, the entire galaxy gets wiped out. I'm sorry, Commander. The last thing you need is someone constantly reminding you of how grim things are. Is there anything else you would rather talk about? Nah. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Alright. Slits her wrists. <laughs> the end. She, she's having a bad day. <laughs> a bad yeah. day. Alright. Well, I sided with Caden, so... We haven't had time together since our last chat. A lot was said when we talked. You mean when we flirted? You seemed decisive then, Lieutenant. Why so hesitant now? I don't want to distract you too much. The deeper we get into this mess, the bigger it seems. I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. What did happen with Vernus? Don't tell me you and Vernus hugged on graduation day. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. Uh, what happened? I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do. Just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon. Right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. That's impressive. Mm. Sat down by a kid. Vernus must have hated that. He didn't have time to hate it. I killed him. Wow! <laughs> Snapped his neck. Oh... They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. That's funny. I'm not sure which of us got the worst of what happened. What happened to Raina? Was Rana alright? Rana? Yeah. Yeah, she was fine. We never really, uh... We stopped talking after that. Are you okay? Tell me what happened. Rana had a gentle heart. She loved everyone. Vernus terrified her. We all protected her from him. I mean, everyone, who, everyone who loved her. But after what I did to him, she was terrified of me too. Anyway, this is, um, I had a point here. Aliens 
are individuals. Just because one's an ass doesn't mean they all are. So, yeah, I hated that Turian, but, but he wasn't a Turian to me. He was Vernus. This explains a lot about you. All Turians so are the that's same. Why you're so self-controlled. I'm no more disciplined than any other biotic shepherd. This is all ancient history. I'm over it. Yeah, but... You agonize over doing the right thing and never let yourself lose control. Because Rana spurned you after Vernus died. That's... All, all right. Maybe... Also, you'll... possibly, maybe, maybe because when he did lose control, he killed but a guy. Okay. You don't have to worry about me. Fully functional human being. And I won't be a burden on That's you. That's exactly what a biot... A synthetic would say. Damn. Caden, you're a strong man. Talking about this doesn't make you a whiner, and it doesn't make you immature. It makes you human. All right. And humans but are whiny, immature people. Tell me that. <laughs> you're right. I might need to loosen up a little. I'll try. Glad you'll be here when it's over, Shepard. I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm looking forward to some shore leave. Great! Looking we'll for later, personal later. input? I'd like that. <laughs> I didn't even want to go for it. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's see, that's Liara and Caden, uh, Garrus. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought about what you said, about eliminating the threat immediately, regardless of the cost. You were right. But you were right about Dr. Salian, too. Killing him was the only solution. This way, we'll know he'll never hurt anyone again. Barely good. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Hi, Ashley. Commander? What's up? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? Sure, if you have time. Figured you'd be busy with tactical briefings and whatnot. Don't know what I think about us attacking today, of all days. Kind of an ill omen. You mean on the anniversary of the first contact war? The end of it, yeah. My family always marks it. I'm the only Williams here. I guess you'd be the only other one interested in it. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? What? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. Oh, okay. I forgot about this. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. Hmm. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. I think that's why you dislike aliens. Is this why you're always going on about the Council? If everyone else can look at Shanxi and say, this is why humanity needs to be stronger, then so can I. I'm entitled. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? No. You're a valuable part of my crew, Williams. If I want an opinion from the head, I go to Alenko. When I want one from the heart, I go to you. Wait, I also what? play a mean game of pool. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Bye. Dismissed, Chief. I'm pretty I'm sure I've got that backwards. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. like seriously, what? I'm not sure what Shepard was getting at there. You, Shepard. Uh, personal inquiry. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Oh boy. It's story time. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. 
I played bowling with him. What did he want oh, you to do? Oh, did he beat you? Beat me. He, wanted he was the ball. <laughs> get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. Ooh. I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. Which one of you made it first? It was a tie. <laughs> I brought back his head. She got the rest of him. As far as I know, we both got paid. <laughs> nice. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. So what'd you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softie. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, life support was failing, but I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it. I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> Now, I'm not superstitious, but if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. At least, for a bit longer. What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. That's a bit cagey. You're smarter than you look, Rex. Ha 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 ha. He kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Hmm. Huh. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. So long, Rex. Shepard. Man, I love Rex's stories. They're so good. <laughs> Okay, uh, Tally, yeah, I think we can take a pause. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. We better be. If we don't stop him soon, it'll be too late. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. A regular part, we couldn't have done if this you without catch you, my Tally. drift. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. You're welcome. I'm going to miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go. See you later. Alrighty then. Uh, 
I think this is a good place for a nice save. Mm. Um, and next time we can come back and do that last Cerberus quest and go to Vermeer and start the end game. All right. Sounds good. Sweet action, Jackson.